Hello and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Carrie Oderman with UATV. Today we're talking about the exhibition called The Corrosion of Character, which takes shape as a dialogue between Italian and Ukrainian artists from the last generation on the topic of labor as a mirror to understand a more complex reality. The work tells different stories about the relationship between workers, their workplace, and their personal lives, raising questions about how much your job defines identity. Joining us in the studio to expand on this topic is Alexandra Trocconi, art historian and curator of the exhibition. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, thank you for having me. Before we talk about the exhibition, I'd like to know about your work and what it means to be a curator of such exhibition. <sighs> Okay, so being a curator means, uh, uh, like as the Latin word says, to take care, take care of the artworks and take care of the artist in the show. Uh, meaning uh, that uh, me, together with the Katerina Filiuk, who is the co-curator of this exhibition, um, are deciding about the concept of the exhibition and we are inviting artists who we think might address this topic uh, in the same space, of course. Now. What is the medium for these works of art? Paintings, photographs? Uh, there are many media in this show. So we have a painting, of course, but we also have a photography, we have video, uh, and we have installation so, and sculpture also. So it's a, like a mixed media exhibition, we can say. So we have different media that can work together and tell more about the concept of the exhibition. Now, the idea of what work and labor means, were some of the artworks already completed or were some made especially for this exhibition? Yes, it's uh, both existing works, so work which have been realized before the exhibition, and new commissions, which means works that have been realized on this occasion especially. Um, in this respect, we have uh, uh, two works by two Italian artists, Antonio della Guardia and Diego Cibelli, who were realized for this exhibition, and the project by Ukrainian artist Diego Ranzigin, who was realized for this exhibition especially. Now, when we're discussing work, it's something people spend a lot of their time doing and yes. they identify with their jobs. Have you noticed through your work curating the different pieces of art similarities or differences between how Ukrainians and Italians view their jobs? Um, I don't think see. I, I don't think so. I think one of the main core of the concept of the exhibition is that we are all living in this era of uh, flexibility. Uh, which means that uh, it's more like focusing on temporary jobs rather than permanent okay. jobs. And this is somehow a shared feeling, a shared context. Uh, so I think this is a common situation between uh, Ukrainian and Italy, despite, of course, like uh, different uh, historical uh, background of the two countries. So the artists in the show address these topics uh, on different uh, views. So sometimes there are stories which are more specific about like some context, Ukrainian or Italian, and some other words which speak more like in general about this feeling of being flexible and precarious. Did you find any of the artists address this in a surprising way? If someone comes to the exhibition, what may surprise them? Uh, what may surprise them? Um, I think like uh, all the works are very balanced between like a strong concept, like a strong idea and uh, like uh, aesthetical shape. So I think uh, of course like this is uh, what define art, like you know, like to address also a very complex topic but always in a beautiful way, like in a beautiful shape. So this is something that of course like a viewer can enjoy while visiting the exhibition. Okay, the title of the exhibition is The Corrosion of Character. How does labor damage or does it make it more beautiful? How is corrosion understood in the title of the exhibition? Yes, the title of the exhibition, the exhibition is named after the title of an essay by Richard Sennett, which is called The Corrosion of Character. And the essay was published in 1998 uh, by Sennett, who is uh, like a professor of sociology, American mm -hmm. professor of sociology. And uh, what Sennett like said in his essay, it's uh, about this like new flexible idea of job and how it affects also our life. Like as soon as uh, a job becomes more and more like temporary, 
also our private relationship and our use of spare time uh, or like our home even are more temporary like uh, okay. uh, it's more like about the short term instead of the, the long term let's say so this is something that really affects our character as individuals because it's not only about the job but it's about how we live like in general so this is something very like uh, uh, crucial for us to understand the society in which we are living in and uh, and this is exactly the the topic that the exhibition would like to address what kind of new knowledge do you think someone visiting your exhibition might find about themselves if can uh, people relating to the art what might someone walk away with um, I, I think like specifically talking about this new work by Antonio de la Guardia um, you can um, I mean like briefly the work is about the series of exercises uh, that are taken by the method of uh, William Horatio Bates who was like a doctor at the beginning of the 20th century yes. who was studying uh, about uh, like methods to uh, cure the sight and uh, and now uh, this doctor becomes more and more popular because we are spending so much time in front of our laptop like working and so this affects a lot our uh, like human side so the work by antonio address this idea uh, of like making exercise so the artist provided the series of exercise all of us can do like there are like a very small exercise about like uh, eyes or like uh, small gestures small movement that we can do in order to regain the healthy of our sight after the time we spent in front of the computer so I think this is also something that can be somehow helpful <laughs> for people to know. Now, if our viewers are interested in what you've told, how can they see the exhibition? So the exhibition uh, is at Isolatia, Platform for Cultural Initiative, uh, here in Kiev. And the opening, which is open to the public, is on Friday, this Friday at uh, 7 p.m. So we are... Uh, I mean, all of you are welcome to join us for the opening. And the exhibition will run until? Until the 11th of November. And you're only here for the week, though. Yes, yes, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, before we end this interview, how do you like Ukraine? Uh, I like Ukraine a lot, I have to say. This is my third time here. Okay. Uh, and um, what I experience here is that I can really see this change year by year. Uh, and uh, and I think it's a very vibrant uh, scene also. Energy, yeah. Yes, and there is uh, like a very good energy, and uh, I think also like in uh, in the art scene, it's a very like uh, uh, vibrant context. So I'm always happy to be here. Well, the next time you come to Ukraine, let us know. Thank you. <laughs> that that was Alexandra Traconi, art historian and curator of the exhibition. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more with UATV. Yeah.